This is a sequel to any point in the body becomes a weapon. Uh, people have asked, what is the difference between the yin and yang pung, and how does this work, uh, turning a point of the body into a fist, so to speak, or an energy ball that will release. Okay. In the yang pung version, as I push on a body part, your first job is always to yield and sink. And because you have yielded and sunk, you have condensed. And if you have condensed correctly under your feet, your body will naturally, in a sense, reverberate back out. Uh, example would be something like this. Huh? That was a okay. Something like that. One more time. Same spot. Take it in. Give it out. See, even there, you apply a little as it come out, and I'm lifting. And now over here, the same idea would occur. This is the yang pung, where he takes it in and gives it back out to me. If you practice with your fist, you must be very careful either to hold it or to lock it tightly, because it, as this come out from the abdomen, it can tweak and torque your wrist all of a sudden. So, again, the yang, I push in, he sinks. I push in further, he pops me back out. So, now, the idea of the yin pung, okay? Okay, so with the yin pung, in the yang pung, we pushed in, and then as he came back at me and pushed it a little more, I, he, it came back at him. Now, he will push in, and instead, in order to generate yin pung, instead of coming in and then coming back out like that, I will, in a sense, yield more, and my internal body will come back out a little bit. See? Notice you didn't see me coming at him, as with the yarn point here. Do this one. Okay. Okay. So, so, this time the yin pong, you can push it a little more. You see him coming off. At this point, uh, this part feel like when he, when when we do the yang pong, he may feel my center if he has a good uh, energy of stand. Because he pushes me, he feels me coming out, but he can't do anything about it. In the yin pung, if I do it right, he will not feel anything. Oh. Yeah, we push too hard to go over the balconies. <laughs> okay, so this is the basic difference with the yin and yang pung here. Switch that with me again. Okay, here. If you're pushing into the body here, for instance, the yin and yang. Yin, yang. Okay, you can see me coming out. I will just let my muscle do it now. Now come over here this way more. And with the yin pung, the same thing will occur. Even more powerful. But notice that the muscle didn't pop and I didn't kind of have reaction, reaction. Yin, yang. It was yin and then yin again. Okay? So the same place could be on the other side. Could be if he, if he here. So here we're going to just have him put a fist in the, in the area. Right in here. Okay, and then do. There's the yang coming out at him and the yin. Okay. So this is the basic difference between how to apply the yang pung when touched or hit or grab. And the grab can have the same effect. So if he uh, have a grab on me here and we lock the elbow. He's going to go. The yin version of that would be something like this. Once again. So it can work for many, many different self-defense applications.